Hey guys, Wally here. So I wanted to let you know about an interesting development that a couple of the Reddit users noticed, and I'll link the Reddit post in the description. So as you may have seen from the very small in-game images that Bungie has released, one of the images shows the model of the Fang of Uryut, but with a different color scheme. As you can see on screen, the model is identical, but it's got a completely different color to it. And there was speculation that this may have been a weapon skin of some kind. We haven't heard any talk of this happening in House of Wolves, but Deej did mention it in a forum post about suggestions for Destiny. On the forum post, he said, we can't promise every idea is being worked on, but we do want to confirm that you've been heard. And you'll notice that Gunskins makes the cut for some things they want to include in the future. So it begs the question, is there already something in place to change the look of a weapon in this way? Now I have some doubt because I figured it just may be the same model but a completely different gun, but the Fang of Ear Ute is a raid weapon, so why would its model be reused? And also you'll notice that the weapon is oddly colored compared to most other weapons we've seen. Orange is very vibrant in comparison to most weapons. Also, check out this image of a sniper rifle. Notice the colors, they don't match any vendor, and I bet that this could be a gun skin in action. Honestly, we haven't heard any official word from Bungie, as this may have been something they want to surprise us with later on, but there's definitely hope that we will see gun skins in this expansion. Secondly, I wanted to bring attention to an exotic that was shown off in the last video, but you may not have noticed it. What you're seeing on screen now is what appears to be the exotic scout rifle called the 347 Vesta Destiny. I saw a lot of questions about whether or not this will be a PlayStation exclusive, and I'm honestly not sure. We haven't heard anything about PlayStation exclusives in the House of Wolves, and I assume there won't be any. Also on screen, you're seeing the small teaser images that Bungie released of the new exotics. Unfortunately, we don't have any high quality images of them, but from what I can tell, many of them look very unique. Patrick actually did a first impressions video of all the new exotics, outlining their perks and giving his opinion on each of them, so be sure to check out that video if you'd like to know more about these items. This was mentioned in the last video too, but you can find each of the new in-game item images on planetdestiny.com. The article separates the items into sections so you can see some of what you're getting from Prison of Elders, Trials of Osiris, etc. Finally, moving away from the exotic items, I wanted to get into the bazooka looking item in this screenshot. Unfortunately, I couldn't make the podcast today, but on the podcast, the team talked about this pretty extensively, so I encourage you all to watch that if you haven't already. An interesting image surfaced today, though, that may tie into it, or it may be unrelated, but I thought this guy looked incredibly deadly. Now, I don't know if that's some kind of flamethrower attached to him or what, but it almost looks like what the Guardians are using in this photo. Unfortunately, Bungie has given us images that aren't exactly stellar quality, so we can just see enough of it to get excited, but we're not 100% sure yet. Personally, my hopes line up with some new type of heavy weapon. However, I want it to be some kind of special item pickup because I'm pretty sure that that's what we're going to see in the Prison of Elders akin to the shield in VOG or the sword in Crota's End. Lastly, I wanted to end on this image. These Guardians are wearing the New Tower legendary gear, but you can see the Warlock is wielding a Fallen-themed hand cannon of some sort. Could it be a shock pistol? Shock pistols discharge bolts of arc energy, so that would be unbelievably cool if weapons we got from the Prison of Elders like this one would function in a similar way as the actual Fallen Arsenal. Now, I'm very curious to know what you guys think about all this. Do you guys hope there's going to be new weapon shaders, and do you like the way the new exotics look? Patrick is currently in Washington hanging out with the folks at Bungie, so he'll be back in a few days. He may even do a face reveal pretty soon. You'll have to wait and see. As always, guys, your support is very much appreciated, and I hope you enjoyed this video.